What's up, babies? The title and the thumbnail are not a lie, also not 100% true, but Counter-Strike, if you've done something with the demos recently, might be bloating your game file folder, and there's a way for you to fix it. There's a bunch of just like space being taken up. So first things first, I wanna show you how to fix it. So you wanna right click your game, manage, browse local files, you wanna go to game, and then CSGO. And if there's anything in your movies folder, you just wanna delete everything out of there. Because in the last video, what I had talked about was the demos were broken and it was giving you the starved for audio sample 441 or whatever the number was in the console. It was giving you that like constantly. And a side effect of that happening was this movie folder would get filled up with picture images of every frame of the demo being rendered. And that means if you have more frames, you had a bigger file. So Valve could have possibly broken people's drives with this. Who knows? It's the only time will tell, I guess, for people to realize this is an issue. Uh, shout out to PriceEmpire.com on Twitter. They brought it up yesterday where they figured out that this path was part of the demos being broken and the files were huge. I think CSGO Empire said their file was like 126 gigabytes of just pictures. Zephyr, my Q partner, his was like 90 gigabytes, mine was 60. But this is something that if you've had that issue with demos at all, this is, you need to go in and fix it like this. Yesterday, as of the 16th of April, Valve did update the game and you, you can no longer launch the files in the broken state because you can't click on the thing that launched it in the broken state. Shout out to Bob and Cat here on YouTube. Let me know that th there was a fix for the issue. I didn't try it until today because I was frustrated and I didn't know there was that second part to do with the demos being broken where it was filling up your movie file. So shout out Bob and Cat for letting me know that there was a proper way to click launch. And whenever you launched it in this correct way, your movie file wouldn't be touched at all. But if you launched it by clicking on the round on the person that you wanted to watch, it was broken in the first place because it wouldn't start you at the round or the person that you clicked on. It just picked round one and a random person. But on top of that, it was also filling up that file. So just wanted to do a little signal boost for that. I know in the last video I said it was gonna be a while before I made another video, but this feels like a logical conclusion to the issue that was happening that I was addressing in that video. Everyone go check if your movie's file is just like crazy bloated with a bunch of picture files. And I'll, I'll go down the path to find it again. So right click the game, browse local files under manage, click game, and then CSGO, and then here's your movie file. And if it's full, you just want to delete it. It doesn't affect anything, it's just a bunch of picture files. It's not gonna break anything. It's also how you find your CFG file. It's obvious that Valve doesn't have a quality assurance team because like pulling a stunt like this in your coding in a class, like a beginner level class, you would get flunked out of the class for doing something like this, where there was like such a glaring issue and it existed for two weeks at the very least. It started after the major, Something went through in one of the updates that just like broke it and it existed like that. And not to dive too deep into Valve's company culture yet again in a consecutive video, but they're on a two week company getaway in Hawaii. So if you're wondering why it takes sometimes two weeks for them to do anything, Sometimes they're just on a company retreat and they can't work on the game because they're not there. And again, I'll bring this up because I brought it up in the other video. It's only 360 people working there at any given time. Even if they're actively working on all of these fixes all the time constantly, it's not going to come out nearly as soon as anyone would like. That's why it took from the end of the major until now for them to even realize there is something like that going on for them to put a band-aid over it. I'm not sure that they fixed the problem with the engine that was making the files go into the folder. They just didn't let you click on the rounds to launch the demos like that anymore. I don't know if they're learning their lesson whenever they're making the game. It's really hard to argue that they are at this point, honestly, because like shit like this just keeps happening. And it's not even to mention like the, the XSS bug that happened where you could see gore from a kick screen or porn or getting your data scraped off of a server because the HTML code being executed in someone's name took you to a server that was outside of the game. Like, how are we supposed to trust what Valve are doing at any given time when this is a weekly occurrence being like, oh, here's another disastrously broken part of the game. It's, it's I don't know how, to, how anyone is defending it at this point. So I don't wanna make this too long-winded. I already have kind of, but we just gotta stop supporting this game until Valve starts supporting it because this, this kind of shit's just ridiculous. Go check your movie folder, everybody.
Thanks for watching. <laughs>